here's a little piece of maintenance today. Uh, turbo pressure sensor or manifold, intake manifold pressure sensor. Uh, it's real important on the EPA 10s. Um, I'm sh I'll show you right now on the EPA 13 where it is, the EPA 10s, and it's a very similar spot. Um, you got to loosen up some AC lines that run right across it. But this is what the sensor looks like. Um, here is, that's a 212-6981PE. Um, just be careful taking it in or out or else you might end up like I did right there. Um, but here it is, it goes right there into the hole and you wanna clean that out every now and then. Um, like it's like once a year, something like that. It'll, there's a likelihood that there's a buildup of soot. It'll plug, plug up that hole right there and you'll lose power on the truck. Um, you can clean it out up there and I usually just hit it, hit the starter, fire the truck up real quick and it charges the system and blows out any soot that's remaining. But, um, you know, it's a uh, pressure socket or a uh, sensor socket. This socket that I have is kind of a little janky, but I think it's an inch and a sixteenth. So you might want to get a sensor socket. I think I'm going to finally break down and get one. Um, and just make sure when you put it in, it's nice and square. And you might want to put some uh, anises on the threads just because it gets, it does, it's in a spot where it gets hot. And, you know, when I was taking the old one out, I got it out fine. It was when I was putting it in, it broke. Um, it just sounded squeaky and real tight. And you got to make sure it's lubed up and you don't want to screw up the threads on the block. Um, intake manifold uh, pressure sensor. <laughs> and normally I think these trucks run around like 32, 35 PSI on the very high end. Um, my EPA 10, when I cleaned it out, it went from running like 24 PSI and up and it jumped right up and all of a sudden it just drove so much better um and that thing was real clogged up but just be careful you know you might want to take a wire uh uh one of those welding torch um wire cleaners just clean it out use a little bit of uh um i used a little bit of uh like wd stuff like that penetrating oil just to kind of loosen it out blow it out don't be too rough with it because you never know what's going to damage one of these. Have a good day.